Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about insulin resistance. Now I think the best place to start is to actually talk about what insulin is. Now what insulin is, is it's a hormone that is released due to high amounts of sugar coming into the body. And it can actually be not even just high amounts of sugar, but sugar coming into the body. And then what happens is that on our cells, on the cell membranes, we have insulin receptors. So that insulin will go into those receptors like a lock and key. And when it goes into those receptors, it then allows glucose to go into the cells and then make ATP energy within those cells. So this is how we make cellular energy. Now, what happens with a lot of people is that they're able to make insulin in response to that sugar within our body, but our cells aren't able to effectively utilize that insulin to allow that glucose or sugar to go into the cells. And this is what we call insulin resistance. So it's either because the insulin receptors are broken or that those insulin receptors are just not working the way they should be working. So, so what can happen is that we end up with a buildup of insulin and we end up with a buildup of sugar outside of the cell that can't be moving so that insulin receptor is not working properly so that sugar is not effectively moving into the cells. So I want you to just gain an understanding of what insulin resistance is because this is a big problem with a number of people. And as this car continues on, so we first start with insulin resistance and then insulin resistance over time can lead to diabetes. But I would say that a large percentage of the population is actually experiencing insulin resistance um, that may potentially lead to diabetes if we don't take control of this insulin resistant picture. All right, so thank you so much for listening. I encourage you to share this with your friends and family, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.